thing. By contrast, the Quran says that the earth is a carpet, a wide expanse, and that mountains are pegs that make it secure. Mountains are the result precisely of the earth's instability, not a cause of its stability. It is based upon the movement of Teutonic plates. The Quran repeats this again in Surah 15, 19. Once again, it says, and the earth we have spread out like a carpet. When I say carpet, do you imagine a round ball? No, you imagine a flat shape. And ladies and gentlemen, let's not be fooled into thinking that everyone thought this back then. Because the ancient Greek philosophers were able to identify that the earth was round using nothing but their own vision. Watching ships go over the horizon, they would seem to one sight to sink. Why would ships sink? Because the earth was round. In the book of Job, in the Bible, it says the Lord has placed the circle of the earth upon nothing. The Quran is in error. It is not from God. There are errors in it. And the Quran says to me, as an inquirer, not to you Muslims, but to me as a non-believer, if this were from any other than Allah, you, as in I, the Christian, would find many errors therein. And so when I read the Quran, according to the Quranic test that Allah has given to me, and I find errors in the Quran, I have to conclude that the Quran is not from Allah. So, is that the only error that we have in the Quran, or does it get worse? It gets worse. So much worse. So, in Surah 5. Now, one second, ladies and gentlemen. The Muslim heckler says to me, You cannot speak Arabic. He seems to forget that 90% of Muslims can't speak Arabic. Most Muslims can be found in Pakistan, India and Indonesia. Their native language is not Arabic. I don't believe in Arabization. I believe that my God can communicate to everyone in a universal language. If their God can't, it is because their God is deficient. He is a failure as a communicator. By contrast, we Christians believe that because God became a man and we can tell stories about this man, it is the message and not the words that are important, which means the message can be translated and God can communicate to you in any language. By contrast, Muslims believe that every word of the Quran is directly from Allah, which means you cannot translate it into another language. And they pick and choose when they want to believe their translations. When they find a gullible Westerner open to Islam, they give you a translation and they say to you, you can trust the translation. But when, as I did, you find errors, mistakes and contradictions in that Quran, that Quranic translation, suddenly they say, oh, you can't trust the translation. So they're happy to give it to you if you're gullible, but if you're a critical thinker, suddenly it's not trustworthy.
Double standards. You're talking as if all Muslims are 